our time here in El Calafate is over. We're just walking to the bus stop now to get on the 130 to our next destination, which will be El Chowton. It's a small village, uh, about three or four hours north of where we are now. Hopefully the bus is all good. We've already paid. We just need to pick up our tickets at the bus station. It was about 600 pesos. We're going this way, this way. We drove past the mountains and into El Charlton as Adam dreamt of subscribers. There was confusion as we'd stopped at the National Park Visitor Centre and were ushered into a room for trek briefings. There was no entry fee and we got offered a map and told about the weather conditions before continuing to El Chowton and to our hostel. Hello, welcome to our new hostel room. We've got a bunk bed again. I'm on top in bunk bed A. Adam's in bunk, B, bunk bed B. <laughs> Hopefully B doesn't stand for bed bugs and A doesn't stand for a lot of bed bugs. Um, bed's really, really comfy, so hopefully it's going to be a good night. We're here for three nights, uh, just arrived on the bus. It was a little bit rainy and windy as we came in, so we're going to go and film a little bit later for you, but first things first, we need to go and get some food. Hopefully we'll show you a bit more of the hostel. Seems like it's a really nice big kitchen. It's quite a big hostel, um, set in a few different buildings, and there's lots of people camping outside as well. Um, so we'll show you around. After Gemma made a new friend, we went for a walk around the town. It's a fairly small place with a large main street that has many supermarkets and restaurants mostly serving craft beer, burgers and pizzas. All you need for a backpacker lifestyle. Good morning everyone, welcome to a beautiful sunny day here in El Chowton. It's our first proper day and we've been told the best conditions for hiking. Uh, we've spent a night in the hostel, it's fairly nice, uh, nice and accommodating and Gemma's going to tell you what we're up to today. We're currently at the bottom of the Fitzroy hiking trail and um, we're going to go up there somewhere um, to see some massive mountains. It's going to take us four hours to get up there and four hours to get back down so come on we better get started. <sighs> Just before we start our trek, we've got here the recommended weather conditions today and as you can see, it's absolutely off the charts, so we're going to die. Just to show you, we're starting the trek right down here. We're going to make our way up to this viewpoint, which I think is 0.7 kilometres, and then we're going to make our way up to this viewpoint here. It'll probably be enacted by this point, so maybe we want to come back, but no, we're going to carry on all the way up here to this viewpoint. Once it gets to here, it's quite steep and tricky, and if it's really, really windy, we might not be able to do it because we haven't got hiking shoes, so we're just going to see how we go. But hopefully, fingers crossed, we'll get past this massive warning mark and to this lake and see the final peak. The start of the trek was fairly steep, and we took a break at the first viewpoint, but we didn't stop for long as it was very windy. Gemma nearly got blown off the mountain. We're probably about two kilometres into the trek now. We've just come walking all the way along here to this absolutely incredible view. You can see the clouds in the distance covering the mountains. We've seen some birds, we think they might be condors, kind of soaring, searching for food, these beautiful lakes. And now we're gonna go into the unknown around the side of the mountain. Find the native Adam walking through the forest, touching his trees as he goes. <laughs> the majority of the trek was sheltered in three woodland. Fitzroy was still in the cloud as we made our way towards it. about three quarters of the way along the Fitzroy trek at the moment and we've just come to a viewpoint where you can see Fitzroy in the distance here. The clouds are clearing a little bit. It's been a mixture of wind and there's been little flurries of snow that are coming off the mountains. There's some glacier parts over here and it sweeps all through this valley. 
there's beautiful greens, lots of trees. It wasn't exactly what we were expecting as we started off. It was more hilly and quite difficult, but the walk hasn't been too bad. And we're gonna make it to the end. We headed for Laguna de los Tres. There are other alternate routes in the area, with some camping available, but as we were doing it in one day, we decided to take the direct route. It's very cold now. It's actually started to snow, and this is what we look like. This is real life. We're nearly there though, and hopefully we're gonna sit with a nice lunch and a view, and I won't look like some sort of discount Obi-Wan Kenobi. The main campsite is approximately one kilometres before the final ascent. There are warnings of only attempting the ascent in good weather and in good health. So we're on the final section of the trek, apparently this is the most difficult and we've just seen where we've got to go. All the way to the top. This last section is very steep, dry and uneven, with a higher concentration of hikers but we pushed through as Fitzroy was in sight. Gemma, guess what? We got to the top. We made it. <laughs> Look how amazing it is. So we made it to Mount Fitzroy, absolutely beautiful. And now it's time for four hours walking back. Completely worth it though. completely lifted and it's absolutely beautiful so this trek is well worth it it is 20 kilometers in total we're probably half the way back now something like that. a little bit tired but hopefully we're going to get a, a massive meal tonight it's by far been the best do you think it's been the best day so far on the trip yeah definitely the best day so far taking things on your own back um, not doing a tour and something that's free it's out in nature even though it's absolutely exhausting thumbs up on the way back down, all 3,405 metres of Fitzroy was showing in the afternoon sun. We did it! The next day the wind arrived, we had to abandon our trek as we literally flew in the wind. Instead, we sheltered and ate some empanadas and warmed up with hot chocolate and waffles. I don't know if you can hear this, but it's so ridiculously windy today. <laughs> Yesterday was such a good condition for walking, but today we're absolutely struggling against this wind. It's coming off the mountains. They're dying. In, in England, this would be called a storm. Here, <laughs> it's just another day. It'd be <laughs> Unfortunately, that was the end of our filming in El Charlton due to the wind conditions, so we hibernated and waited for our overnight bus to Los Antigos and then on to Chile. And that's coming next. Please like and subscribe and we'll see you soon.